Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is January 7, 2021, and today is Thursday morning. So first, looking at the highlights of the day, Bitcoin and the Dow Jones both explode yesterday after it looks like the Democrats are going to take the presidency. Now, this is something that is historic. I've never seen such anarchy in the United States. Protesters raid capital and go into the Senate and Congress. Unbelievable. I mean, this is something that is really historic. But looking at the economic events of the day, nothing scheduled for today. And as this whole thing is happening yesterday, we actually had FOMC come out and it just seems like irrelevant. But anyway, going into the markets, looking at the Forex symbols, US dollar continues to slide. As the Dow Jones explodes, NASDAQ slumps, we're gonna take a look at the stocks. Commodities, gold bounces off support right in that midsection between 1948 and 1900 and 1926. Oil breaks above $51, first time in almost a year. Bank stocks explode on the upside while tech stocks slump. And this is really what is going to be anticipated to happen is that if the Democrats take the House, they're going to break up these high tech companies. And that's why the, the tech stocks slumped. And bank stocks rallied on the hopes of some further stimulus. Okay, now lastly, looking at Bitcoin exploding on the upside. Seems like it's a new gold standard. All right, so let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. Okay, so we're first starting out with the EURUSD at a four-hour chart. And you can see pretty much this is a bona fide upwards trend. Now, I did draw that trend line and it does extend to the future. I mean, all intents and purposes, this can continue going higher to 125 all right we got to look at a weekly chart to take that look you see how much further that could go 124.85 is the next high now what is happening in the united states is really a cry to democracy okay a lot of misinformation a lot of i i, I don't even know who to believe any longer is it the right is it the left and the news media is being controlled by both sides i it's it's I'm just a technical trader, okay? I don't know how to digest this. Markets don't like uncertainty, but it seems like the markets are convinced that the Democrats are going to take the presidency while, you know, Trump is still at like somewhat of denial of the situation. Now, looking at the Aussie US dollar, okay? Now, I, I'm sorry to put that in there, but I, I feel like I need to because it's going to affect today's trading, okay, for sure. All right, the markets are tremendously volatile. You want to take advantage of it as this is actually happening. Now, the dollar not getting stronger versus the Aussie USD, but looking at the RAND, we finally got stronger there at 15. This might be a good pivot point for the RAND to actually turn on the downside because what is happening is that gold is getting stronger and that obviously helps the RAND. Now, looking at the USD Canadian dollar also still hovering at that supportish level, but not breaking out lower. Now, jumping in commodities, gold. Trading at 1922 right now, in between this 1960-ish level and 1900-ish level, we're right smack in the middle of that. Okay, so with that said, I still don't know which way we're going to go today in terms of gold, just because this slump is really on the back of the Dow Jones going higher. Okay, so if the Dow Jones does retrace later today, depending on what's going to happen, they still haven't called a presidency. This is crazy. I mean, this is like beyond crazy. Jumping into oil. Trading of $51 a barrel for the first time. Once we broke that $49.65, we just took it up on the high side. Now, we can't really refer to historic charts here just because we are looking at a future contract. Future contract are monthly. Okay, so the next real resistance ish level on a continuous chart would be somewhere about $55. So just be aware that this could still go higher. Now jumping into the Dow Jones, right now we're looking at this 30,912, just shy of 31,000 as it's pumping higher and higher. Okay, looking at a 30 chart, 30 minute chart on that top side right there. This still has room to go on the upside. I mean, you know, it's on historic highs. Once it breaks out, you know, it could continue going somewhere between two to 300 points higher from yesterday. Okay, so just keep that in mind as this continues to rally. Looking at the NASDAQ though, slumping 12,700 after hitting almost 13,000 and also an historic high. Now looking at the individual stocks. So this is where it's gonna get interesting. And you're gonna see the rotation between the stocks because if we look at JP Morgan, boom, gap and go. Okay, 132, if we look at a daily chart just to give us perspective 
we're almost right back to our all-time highs of 138 right before the pandemic last year. Now looking at Alcoa as well, this is where it gets very interesting because you see this gap up and that is now a bona fide support level, 23.97. I mean, guys, this has gone over, look how much it's gone in the past year, 11, from $11 up to 25. And we've been watching this since, okay, August. Okay, so even if we go further back, okay, we, this has been really a tremendous play. Now, when we look at the tech stocks, let's look at them. Apple, unchanged, dead, okay? Selling even further, okay? They're afraid that they're going to break up these companies if the Democrats take all three houses, the presidency, the Senate, and Congress. That gives them reign to pass legislation that is like they pretty much can do anything they want at that point, okay? Which is not a bad thing. It's just the reality of it, okay? So, you know, if they do decide to break up these big tech companies, it's going to have a massive effect on the markets. Now, looking at Facebook as well, slumping at 261, Amazon just sideways trading 3129. Lastly, okay, the play of the day, Bitcoin, explosion to 37,000 yesterday. 38,500-ish level is the next real resistance. I mean, that's this 61% above our previous high. So just keep that in mind as we look at this. Okay, this is a daily. Looking at a one-hour chart, we are correcting ourselves right here. So we may get a correction. But what's for sure is that you're going to have multiple, multiple uh, opportunities today to scalp the market. Okay, without a question, this is definitely something to go down in the history books. This is Fred Ray Sack. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.